It's day one for the JUCO World Series, and to get our day started, we had a matchup between the Georgia Highlands Chargers and the McLennan Highlanders. Crypto Vale started the day on the mound for the Chargers, and what a game he had as he strikes out Denton Lachance to close out the top of the first. On the opposite side, Clayton Freshcorn on the mound for the Highlanders, and he was just throwing heaters to start off as he gets the punch out for number two. And this is where the bats would start to wake up in the bottom of the fourth. Ryan Weidman for the Chargers gets a hold of the ball and sends it out of the park for the first home run of this game and of the tournament. And it was Hit so far, our camera guy Jerry Peralta couldn't even find the ball. But the Highlanders wouldn't give up so easily. Top of the fifth, Sam Flores smacks the ball to deep left center, bouncing the ball off the pitch clock for their first home run. The Chargers' bats, though, would start to get hot in the bottom of the fifth. Luke Orphy almost gets a home run ball, but hits it off the back of the wall, but that would be enough regardless for the RBI double and bring home a Chargers run and put them up 2-1. to one. Bottom of the sixth, Chargers back up. Ryan Martin hits one up the middle to bring a runner home. The Chargers go up 3-1. to one. Orphy back up in the bottom of the seventh. He smacks that one a deep left, almost clearing the outfield wall, but outfielder Walker Freeman goes up to steal that one, sending Orphy back to the dugout. And we're going to make that our play of the day, brought to you by EC Electric. Dovale back up on the mound in the eighth, and he keeps working as he gets the strikeout. Dovale would pitch eight full innings before his name was finally called. Bottom of the eighth, Ollie Blanks gets a hold of this ball up the first baseline and drives in the runners. The Chargers would close out game one, winning at a final of 5-1. to one. First time a lot of these kids have been out here and, and in an environment like that, and, and you could see they were they were trying so hard to just try to come through instead of just kind of sticking with our process and, and trusting their abilities. But the uh, all the credit to Georgia Highlands. They got a really good ball club, and, and they came through. Such a special place, and, and the teams out here are so good. Um, you know, I knew it was going to be a tough game because McLennan's really strong and Tyler does a great job over there. But uh, I had a lot of confidence in our guys. I knew we would come out, play hard, and do things the right way. And, and they didn't disappoint me. We came out, made some good plays early.